for many years, I stayed in India, and how many times I traveled on an Indian train, and how many times a discussion started on the topic of Bhagavad Gita. So many times, and many times people have quoted some verses from the Gita. Uh, and of course, everyone on the train, practically everyone in India knows something. Everyone knows Paritranaya, Sadhanam, Vinasya, Sudhuskritam, Dharma, Sansar, Vinatya, Sambhavani, Yuge, Yuge. Um, also, many people know the famous verse, Sarva Dharma Paichaya, Mamekam Saranam Braja, Aham Tum Sarva Bhapevyu, Mokshaya Shami Masucha. A verse which means give up everything, um, abandon all variety of activity and just surrender unto me. Um, I will deliver you from all the reactions of all your sinful activities. Don't worry. Masucha, do not fear. So, this particular verse is found at the conclusion of the Bhagavad Gita. After the whole discussion between Krishna and Arjuna has taken place, we come to this particular verse. Um, Lord Krishna spoke these words and after Kurukshetra passed by, Lord Krishna saw how history developed. And he looked at the people and he saw, I spoke these words, just abandon all variety of activity and surrender unto me. And he says, and I, and Krishna saw that people knew the verse, but who was doing it? Who was doing it? And while traveling in India on the train, the same question is asked to me so many times, Swamiji, how can you follow these things? How can you follow all these things? Uh, so, Krishna himself, he saw there was a big gap between the injunction of the scripture and what people were practicing. And we ourselves, if we are a little honest, we recognize the problem. Uh, we ourselves face that same struggle. We also feel weak. It, when we really look at the directions of the scriptures, it's very high, very high, to really follow that. And we feel weak and the world is going in a different direction and what to do. Right? Sometimes people say, yes, but I cannot be backward. Right? I live in the modern world, what can I do? Yes, uh, yes. So many, thus, so many principles that are found in the Vedic literatures gradually disappeared. Huh? Nowadays, I see that on the airports, that the Indians are buying many bottles on the airport, two bags, one in each hand. Huh? Yes, and they say, but not long ago, not long ago, in India itself, you could not buy these things ordinary, in an ordinary way, actually. It was, I remember that in the early 70s, that it was sold, alcohol was sold from a little, like a ticket window, with bars. And if one, want, if one wanted to buy, one had to present an ID, and the ID was entered in some ledger. Uh, name was written down, address, everything, and then people were given a bottle this big. Uh, little bottle, yes. pocket flask, uh, that was it. Uh, um, but then the times changed, the times changed. So I remember in the 90s, I happened to be on Connaught Circus in New Delhi on New Year's Eve. I hadn't planned it, but I came there around 8 or 9 o'clock and everyone was sitting in his Maruti and they had the, the back door was flapped open and some people were sitting on the roof of the cars and they all had a bottle and it looked like a Bollywood party if you know what I'm talking about. 
Huh? Yes. So the times have, have changed so much. So much that tradition, what is tradition now? Right? What is tradition today and how relevant is it to the modern way of life? And I remember how in the same Connaught Circus we were taking a Harinam party around Connaught Circus and people were sort of looking, what is this? What is this? Do you have to come here? Do you have to do this here while we are enjoying? Uh, we are having a good time and you are coming with this now? Uh, there is a time and a place for everything and this is not the time and the place. Yes. So, in short, um, it is difficult to, to maintain a tradition. It is difficult to make it meaningful. Yes, blessings we want. Blessings we want, but we do not want principles. We do not want regulation. We, that we don't want. Uh, all the, all the vidi and the nisheda. The vidi are the rules that are of a positive nature. Sarva vidi nisheda shur etayore vakinkaram. It is said these vidi are type of injunctions in the scripture where it says you must offer a flower to the Lord, you must stand up during the arti. Uh, these are all vidi. And then there are niseda. The niseda are rules and regulations that deal with prohibition. This is not allowed, that is not allowed, so nothing is allowed, breathing is not allowed, and <laughs> how can we live? Uh, living is not allowed. Yes, uh, everything is, nothing is allowed and we live in modern times and it is too difficult, too difficult at work and even at home. It gets too much. Uh, so gradually things everywhere are disappearing very fast, very fast now. Uh, it is amazing to see that the culture of India has not changed very much over thousands of years, but that it has changed more in the last 20 years than it has changed in the last 2,000 years, actually. Um, now, we're changing very fast, very, very fast, very, very fast, and things are just, uh, well, so many things go out of the window. Uh, Bombay, or Mumbai, sorry, has a new name also. Mumbai is, is now a big party city and is famous for parties. Of course, after that terrorist attack, not so much anymore. But there was a lot of foreign party tourism, actually. I, I saw an article about it that many are coming to party in Bombay. The parties are cheap and good, cheap and best in Bombay. Yes, or Mumbai. Like this, what shall we say? The times, the times are changing. Uh, Non-veg is not so abnormal anymore. Uh, I travel on planes a lot and then you see these things nearby. You see who orders the non-veg and who orders the veg. Uh, you smell it also. And there's a lot of non-veg, I must say. Ah uh, yes, some are veg at home and non-veg outdoors. Uh, and so, not uncommon, yes. These things are going on like that, yes. And of course, once it starts with the non-veg outdoors, what else comes outdoors? Thus, principles are broken as if they are little twigs, one after the other. Break, break, break. Uh, this is modern times. Why is this? Why is this? Why is this happening even in Punya Bhumi? Why is this happening to, even to the people of India? Why? Why? 